We're back, day three. Day three of a rewire, and we're doing okay. It's nice to see the wholesalers stocking a bit of quality, eh? Look, a bit of prismium, a bit of quality. So plan of action today is we've got to wire electric shower. We'll pull the feed in for the EV charger, which is just gonna be down there. And in this property, they've got, um, I don't know if I said it in a previous video, they've got storage heaters, which they're not upgrading, okay? So they've got an off-peak and an on-peak supply so each of these heaters is going to need a 2.5 radial so i think there's five there's five heaters to do in total so that's going to be there's five heaters isn't there one two three four no six isn't there six so each of those is going to need a 2.5 radial pull into it so it's going to be a few more cables added here today coax cable quality and then i'm going to get on with the chasing So what we're using in here, we're going to be using oval capping. So shove him in the ceiling like that. We'll, we'll end up putting a fix in, a bit of bandy strap, fold it round, and then we'll just bang our boxes on the end. But we're just showing you for demonstration purposes. Look at this, Milwaukee got it spot on with this bay charger. So you just leave them, leave them overnight, come back in the morning, and it simultaneously moves to the next one and charges it for you. Look, superb idea. Right, I am in. I'm in the loft again, um, hope you can hear me. This loft getting converted, we're going to have uh, an access route along here and along here. This is going to be one bedroom. Stairs is going to come up here and then another bedroom over there, which you can't see. We've got immersion tank going over there near the chimney breast. And then we've got, uh, we're going to have a storage heater in this one, a storage heater. So we're wiring two circuits up for the storage heaters, off peak and mains. And then Andy's just about to wire up a lighting feed for the loft area and a power circuit, um, which is going to do two bedrooms, be a 20 amp radial. Um, I've already wired up a smoke alarm. Let's grab my torch. I've already wired up a smoke alarm feed, which is there. That'll coil up, that'll go up the rafter. Because I don't know what the loft guys are doing with these rafters. That'll go up into the new hallway of the stairs for an optical. And then we're also going to, um, we've wired up one fan. Um, we're now going to drill those through the walls because they've got some high lint tools. And then we'll wire those. Obviously I've got that to contend with. It's, um, there's nothing in it, but it's, um, it's a bit rank over there. So I'll have to just try my best because they're going to lay insulation on this anyway. So, and put new floor joists in. So um, um, it's not as if they need these joists, but yeah, I'll uh, do our best up here. And um, arachnophobia. Okay, so what we've got there is immersion um, supply and off-peak. We've also chucked down a coax, which will go for a new aerial that's going to go up on the chimney when they've done the loft. So we've got that cable in. And we've just dropped the fan cable over there. I've got to put a clip on there. And um, that's going to go for an extractor fan down low, low level below. I'll show you that now. So when I was in the loft, I said, this is how low we've got to put the extractor fans, because look, they've got a big lintel in here. So we've wired it down, we have to chase that in, and we're gonna get James tomorrow to core drill that out, four inch hole. And then the same in the shower room over here. That's gonna get a four inch hole below here somewhere like that, because I think they've got rid of these. They've cut the saw stacks now, retiled the roof, and they're gonna put like a Durgo low down inside here, so. Wire the shower, he's going to come up inside the stud partition to the new shower that's going to go on the wall there. And then the new isolator um, will come on this wall here when it's finished. We've had to wire these, the wall isn't finished, but we've had to wire these so we can get on. Because that was our ones. You know when I was in the loft, that's where I was sat. With all those cables called up, the loft feeds and stuff like that. There's me hole for me future EV charger. There it is, six mil, I'm gonna come down to there. Turn that radio off. Six mil, down to there, out for the EV. We'll put it on a whisker for now because they haven't got the car yet, but um, they're gonna get it in the future and then he's gonna loop up into our board. Where is it, mate? There it is, have you wrote one it? Oh, I love EV charger, oh man. That's fine, mate. Perfect. 
So we are officially wired, three days in, and we are wired, spotlights in every room, smoke detectors, water bond, data, aerial. So now we've got a monster chasing day tomorrow, and this is what obviously what we're going for, this sort of oval cap in like this, as we showed you this morning. But yeah, it's going all right. Good morning, day four of the rewire. We're fully wired, believe it or not. Yesterday afternoon, me and Andy, Started to smash out some chases. Okay, we chase these out. We're then gonna smash these out with a drill. Got James upstairs uh, drilling. And is on tea. James is upstairs drilling, it's due the noise. Back in down a bit. Down, that's it. Perfect. Beautiful. So let's crack on. So right, we're getting centre of boxes, comes with this awesome bracket, adjustable, yeah, uh, luckily these walls are thick enough, the render they put on, I haven't got to take that much off, look, to get my capping oval to sit flush, look, yeah, so it's not too bad, what Andy's doing is a couple of fixings, a couple of fixings up, like so, if you can get them in the centre, yeah. And then bandy strap, he's gonna cut some bandy strap, bend it over, that'll keep the cap in against the wall. James has drilled the fan out, James, yeah? Yes. All done, mate? Yes. Was it enjoyable? Lovely. Enjoyed that one, at least there's only one to do. There is one in the loft to do. <laughs> there is one in the loft to do. So what I've done is go in center of my box, I've got a data, so that'll be a coax and a data point to go there. We'll put that on a Euro module thing. And then we've got another socket to go over there. Put him. Yeah, cut them, yeah. put it behind and fold it behind. Fold it in front. Fold it in front, yeah. 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 Hence what you said, do it in the middle. Huh? Hence what you said, do it in the middle. Yes, do it in the middle, yeah. 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 What was you going to do? Side, put it in front. No, no. No, 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 Andy. We need to put a spur here for electric fire, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Can't hear the radio anyway. The old screw it, look. What zone was that in then? In 1980, uh, whatever, then they built these. <laughs> Metal capping. Stunning. Stunning, Andy. Stunning. Eight percent, James. The whole eight percent. The whole eight percent. So this room has finished capped. We just got to clear up. Uh, Andy's just finishing the last few bits in the kitchen area, capping up. I don't know. So I saw this on Instagram. It's quite a good way of doing it. Look, folding over the, folding that over, holds it in nicely. All the kitchen's in. Ding, dang, done. I'm going to see what James has been doing. I'll put a picture on the screen now. We added some timber in to give our tails 50 mil depth in the fabric of the building. Um, and then we've also sprayed the floor because I wanted to, cables here. And then our tails go across here. And as you can see, James, I'll put the picture again. James has put these two braces, four braces in the floor to keep our tails nice and off the plasterboard and all our cables back to the board. James has done the hole for the fan. So that's ready to go there. The other fan can't be done because 
they're going to bring this soil stack all the way up here and i'm not happy with drilling four inches out of this lintel support so this will get a when they do the loft conversion we'll put a um We'll put, what we're we going to put in a, a, put a fan in the loft, yeah? There's going to be a void we can walk in. We're going to put a duct all the way through here, James. Insulated duct, yeah? yeah. And then we'll put uh, we'll drill a hole out through the through the side of the house and put a grill on the side. That's going to do that. Office is all done. All the spotlights are wired. And we've marked these floorboards up where our runs are for cables. It's a bit pointless, but we felt like we wanted to do it. James is going to fix these down. And then next week, me and James will be back... What, one or two days, James? One or two days to finish off. I'll just show you down here. I've just ordered some three mil plate by one, one, 1. 1.6 by eight inches to go over these tails um, to give them the three mil coverage that you need for the tails, okay? Beautiful. Hey, there we go. Right, good morning. We're back on this rewire that we are now here to finish the second fix we got all done downstairs but we didn't finish upstairs okay um james is back from his little adventure james how was it great fun. good he's been to germany <laughs> he had great fun so as you can see i've got these tails in position okay we took out 15 mil of the brick so integrity of the brick is still there okay there is a thing in the regs you can't take out the percentage of the brick so if i can find it i'll show it you but i've got this safe plate made up okay massive safe plate look three mil steel okay james you want to hold that don't finger the camera down so we're going to put this safe plate on these tails like this look that's going to go on there we'll i've made it long enough so it will go up into the ceiling and then we're going to put probably or well, six fixings in this that'll get screwed there and then if anyone tries to ever put anything here it is in a zone anyway um they're going to get this three mil safe plate yeah Oh, top, top is recording. The top one. Yeah. Just tap it. So because we ripped out the temporary consumer unit here, which is this fella here, what we're gonna do is temporarily, James, pass me a block of Henley. We've got some heavy duty Henley blocks. What we're gonna do is um, see the new tails here for the fuse board, these ones. We're gonna just temporarily put some Henley blocks on them and then connect these tails in so they've got temporary power because they need some power on site i.e plasterers need to mix up and stuff um, etc so what we're going to do now is got this little kit look obviously milwaukee hss spit if you get the um it is actually going the impact james yeah, yeah if you get the impact gun we'll put one of these in and we're going to drill six holes in that metal plate now so as you can see, our tails are going to be in this four inch gap. I've got this made at seven inches. Uh, I can't remember the, I think it was 1600, seven inches, which is what, James? 35, 350 wide. Um, so that gives us an inch either side to drill through. So now we're going to drill these bits through. Do you want to give it a go, James? And then we'll probably countersink the head as well. Do you want me to do it? Do you want to do it? You want me to have a go? Yeah, it's going to be noisy because it's impact. Right. Never do that, yeah? Because you're going to get some mm -hmm. your fingers, yeah? yeah. Do that. So what we've done, we've put a, a six mil through, okay? What we're gonna do is put a, what should we go for? An eight mil, look. Go for that eight mil there. And I'll just show you right off. So if you come in, James, look. See here, right, if I put that screw in, look at that head, yeah? So we want that to sit flush, yeah? Yeah. So we get the 10 mil. Is it 10? No, it's an eight. Eight might be big enough, let's have a look. Yeah, it's an 8mm head, so we're just going to take the top layer off, yeah? Look. Okay. Like that? Yep. It should be enough, if not we'll up, the, we'll up the size. But as you can see, it sits a lot flatter, yeah? Yeah. So we'll just up that size a little bit, and then we'll get that screw sat flush. Look at that. Stunning James. Looking stunning James. Stunning. Right, where's the old... Let me come hard. It's quite actually, isn't it? Yes, yeah. <laughs> 
That was £33, James. Bargain. That's a bargain, isn't it? Yeah. Pizza 2 plus the bit there. Right. Do you want me to get them in position? Sure. Or you can then. Uh, Hold on if you want to. I'm going to just manipulate them up there a little bit, look, like that. Right, get one in down here, mate. Just there. Just them? Yeah, go on. Nice and gentle, go on. Stop, that's it, perfect. And then go for that. Go for that one, because they're all a little bit squishy in there. Done in. Mm. Yeah, okay. And now you're dangling it, that's a trouble. Right, this. I don't know if we're going to get that back anymore. Um, I don't know, James. Oh. It's alright. It's still, it's still flush as that, look. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, mate. Well, let me have a go. Let me have a good go, James. Man to do this one. Yep. Oh, might bend around a little bit. That ain't going nowhere, is it? There we go. So, get me the hammer drill, James. Yep. So, if someone was to come in and drill now, they'd be drilling through what? Plasterboard? They'd then go. Gonna know <laughs> that there's some cable set, there's a cable plate there, yeah? Yeah. And what we'll do now, we'll get our little our special spread plate <laughs> which we're obsessed with, and we'll just put some, some little X's on it. Even though it's gonna get covered, James, yeah. we're gonna put some X's on it, mate, to show that. And you can't get any better because we film our jobs, look. We've got a cable plate on our tails there. So that is, what is that, James? Marvellous. Sweet. Marvellous sweet. There we go. As it's worked out, these tails, within, within three metres, you don't have to put a switch fuse on them. But because I've had to order extra tails, these are actually going to work out about five metres a length now. So what we're going to have to do is, in the metre cabinet, we are going to have to change the two DNO um switch fuse uh switch isolators for um switch fuse uh switch fuses so i have to stick one down here and one up there but we'll do that at a later date i'll oh, remember not to use that one mate yeah there we go we've got some power back on a little heater that's nice so we've been using the dewalt wall chaser and um i want to try and make this a bit more efficient so at the minute you can see there we've got two blades what i'm going to do is try I've bought three of these extra blades. I'm going to try and make this a five blade chaser. If you make it a three blade, the bits get stuck. So if I make it a five blade, it should chew it up small enough that it's going to pass through and into my big old Titan over there, yeah? So we'll give it a go. If it doesn't work, um, I look like an idiot. If it works, I'm an absolute genius. So what I've got is some 10 mil washers, okay? Gonna open these out a little bit because they just don't fit over that spigot. Look, probably then gonna use two of these between each blade, clamp him down hard, and now uh, we'll see what happens. Between then. Right, there we go. I've got my washers set between. Looks a little bit dodge. That's because it is. Um, we'll see what happens. Um, I've tightened that spigot down as much as I can. I might do a little bit more actually. And um, we'll see if this will work without clogging up the um, dust extractor and this chaser, yeah? All right, there we go, we're ready to go. We're just about to mark this chase up for the landing switch, okay? Two-way, um, two-end intermediate, I think we've got here. Feed, switch line, two-way down, and 
Uh, yeah, two way. So yeah, that's the two way, and that's the intermediate there. Look, and then this will also have a two way that we've left in the loft for the new landing that's going to be created here for the stairs. Uh, we've got some cap in. We're just about to mark this up, and then we're going to give the five bladed Dewalt a little run out. If your next clip you see is this in A and E, you know that it didn't go well. So there's definitely a lot more dust produced from the five blades. That struggles with the five blades. On the two blades, it's absolutely fine. But look, it didn't clog up. It's actually created a nice chase there, James. Look, that's that weird, that's that, that's the, that's the actual, that's the blades I put in. Look, that's the original blade. That's the blades I put in. But look, that ain't too bad, is it? Not much to chase out, is there? Pretty good. Look, let's break that out. Pizzle them out. Yeah, that ain't too bad, as long as you can put with the dust. Not so bad, is it? But we'll give it a go, and then we've only got some sockets to do. So yeah, all in all, not too bad. Just so you don't know, we have got masks on there, and we've got the glasses, which are there, which I've just taken off, James, haven't I? Yeah. Just taken them off. And uh, as you can see, we don't need to put any bandy strap because that um, fits in that chase lovely, look. So that's ready to go for the plasters now. We're going to move on. I won't show you any more chasing because it's bloody boring for you. It's great fun for us, so we'll see you in a bit. Well, we've got a dash off now, but we have managed to get these ones roughed in, okay? Um, in the end, I ended up changing back to the two blades because the five blades were slipping just on the, hasn't got the proper shank on the chaser there, but um, there's no point in doing anything with these because I don't know what's going on with this wall and stuff yet, so we'll leave them. Managed to get a switch in the plasterboard wall and then tomorrow I'll be back for not very long because I've only got literally one, two, three, four chases to do and then that will be the first fix done on this job so I will see you tomorrow morning. Morning. It's so cold. Let's get on some work. This way, come on. Here we go, we're in this room today. Let's get on and finish the chasing and get the first fix done. Okay, as you can see, I've marked up all my chases. Now let's get down and dirty. Ready to go. One of the reasons we've been wiring that. Nasty. Finally done. I'm all cleaned up. I get all the tools cleaned out. I forgot I had to do that one. Look, a bloody heater. Um, essential, not essential. I think I'm in the hospital. It's not essential and mains. It's mains and um, off peak. So now we've done all the chasing, got all them in, got the two-way and intermediate in, this will be the new staircase going up so then